Why is there no tension? Oh, I, 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 not for a second have I said, or would I say, that there is no tension in this relationship. What I did, what I did say, and what I certainly would argue, is that there are perfectly good ways for religious people to understand the universe as we know about it through science and still find it in a way that is consistent with their faith. And, and the way in which I would put it is this way, and it's probably um, because uh, I was taught religiously in what you might call a Thomistic tradition, the thought of Thomas Aquinas. And that is that, that faith and reason are both gifts from God. And faith and reason therefore have to harmonize. They can't really be in conflict. Um, religion is the child of faith, science is the child of reason. So if one takes, I would say, misconstrues God to be an empirical, scientific hypothesis, you will in fact find no evidence for it. Um, in other words, you cannot do an experiment that will prove or disprove or exclude the existence of God. And I would say that freely. Um, I would also say that there are other questions that science cannot answer. I don't think, for example, the relative merit of a Picasso versus a Manet is a scientific question. I think it's an important question, but it's an aesthetic. If I was to compare uh, William Faulkner with John Grisham, I don't think there's a scientific comparison there, but I think it's an aesthetic question that any artist or any critic of literature would be interested in. Those questions are real. And I think, with respect to religious faith, that there are serious questions about why is there something to begin with? Why does the universe exist? And why can we make sense of it? Einstein once wrote that the most incomprehensible thing about the universe is that it seems to be comprehensible. And that's an important question. Why does science work? Um, to a, a person who simply sets the hypothesis of God aside, I think you simply have to say, well, it does, and we'll take it from there. To a person of faith, you might say that the reason science works is precisely because there is an ultimate intelligence behind that universe. Do I believe that? Yes. Do I argue that that is a principle of science in the same way that the fact that you and I have 46 chromosomes is a principle of biology? I wouldn't argue that way for a second.